there's this concept of of personas that um, you actually assign and, and you build where, you know, you you start to kind of think about, well, what does Shane the Simplifier's life look like? Well, Shane is 29, lives in Seattle with his girlfriend. You know, he has disposable income. Um, he works hard and he knows that he needs to do a better job of staying in touch with his family and friends. He wants an easy way to be able to kind of do what he's continuing to do, which is building his business, being an entrepreneur. And I, it's funny because as I'm reading this, I think Shane is modeled after me. But <laughs> <laughs> a little autobiographical here. I, it might just be right. Um, he he's committed to letting those he loves know that they're thought of and also top of mind. So he just needs to figure out a way to do that. Or in this case, there's Connor the connector. Connor is that um, high service ticket business item, maybe a realtor or a lawyer, somebody who has a lot of different clients that he wants to kind of stay in their life. And then um, personas such as Christina, the chronic giver, right? Um, someone who just loves to give and remembers every single person's niece's nephew's birthday, that kind of thing. That's the level of detail you, you want to have. And, you know, to be fair, you don't have to know or have all of this out the gate, right? Um, because the thing I want to be very clear about is that, you know, these steps um, have been helpful and they're, they're um, a guide of sort. Um, and you can figure out some of these pieces later, but the more specific you can be about your target audience and who you're building for, the easier it's going to be for you to figure out what features you should add, what you should cut, as well as who you should target from a marketing standpoint. And so when now that you've got the, the those personas, do you do you actually like refer to them by name when when uh, like during a meeting or when you're putting together a particular feature, which you say, hey, you know, this is something that Christina is going to want or this is something that I think it was Connor, Connor, Colin, Connor yeah. that Connor is going to want um, on on the site. Absolutely. And what it's actually nice about this is, um, you know, I'll talk a little bit about my, my theory on crawl, walk, run later. But um, what's nice about this is you start to see um, your customers kind of fall into a segment, right? Mm. And you can now start talking about um, them in terms of, oh, this is a feature that Connor would love. For example, um, you know, we are, we're in the process of still doing some design for our, um, what do you call it, our our, our mobile app, but um, Connor would love the ability to include a gift card or uh, or a check, right? Um, and you, you talk in terms of personas and in terms of the folks that you're building it for, because once again, if you're building a, a business, hopefully you can use the app, but you also have to think about the person or, or the, the user at the other end and what their needs and their goals may be.